Hey guys, welcome back. Today's gonna be another one of my time traveling videos because it is Sunday and today's the day that I typically do live streams on Brick Tech Live, but I also like to share the sets on this channel that we build. And the set that we're building today, and we being me and Mrs. Brick Tech, we're building Lego Harry Potter set 75954 Hogwarts Great Hall. This is 878 pieces. And this is a set that was made possible by the live streams on Brick Tech Live. A lot of people donated for us to buy this. And I think it's a beautiful set. You got the great hall on this side, and then you flip it around, you get to see the interior of this and all the great stuff that's happening in there. How many mini fingers do we got with this? We got two, four, six, eight, ten of them. And without their names being below there, I probably would have no idea who any of these are, with the exception of maybe Harry Potter. And yeah, I think that's about it. I haven't really seen any of the Harry Potter movies, which is another reason that it's great that Mrs. Brick Tech's gonna be in the stream today, because she can kind of field those questions and make me not look like an idiot. But I'm gonna open this up here and uh, kind of get ready for the stream, and I'll bring you along with me on that, of course. Open all of our sets up from the left side, which I need to make a video on why that is, why you should be opening your sets from the left side. But let's crack into this, and inside, I bet there's gonna be a lot of tan pieces in here. Here's a little sneak peek at what's inside, and I'm gonna start dumping it out here. Bring you in so you can see what's going on. We've got three of these gray plates. In addition to that, it looks like there are bags numbered up to six. So we've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. And thank you so much, Lego, because we have a non-folded manual in here, although we do have some stickers, which is not a huge deal. Let's open this up and see what's going on in here. This just reminded me of something. Someone was saying in a comment a while ago that you know how I save all my boxes and I'm kind of crazy about that and I put everything in Ziploc bags. Some people were telling me that they actually save these bags. Like they open them very carefully and then when they're done building, they put everything back in the bag, which is a whole other level of, I was gonna say OCD, but I don't really think that's the proper phrase. Maybe just, um, I don't know. It's another level of collecting, I suppose. But inside here, there is the manual. Just gonna take a look here. I don't know if this is gonna be one of those sets that we can build separately, or maybe we're gonna have to kind of have one person in the chat and one person building it, because I think everything kind of takes place upon the same plate. Not too many stickers here. I love these ones. These, I'm not a huge fan of that add like the brick detail. I don't think that's really necessary, but I do like these ones here. So I think that's pretty much it for the unboxing. I guess we might as well start on bag one here, since that's what we're gonna be getting into in the stream. Open this up and we can take a look at that. Beautiful brown boat, which I used to have a ton of red ones that were like that from the pirates back in the day. And I think I just spotted Harry Potter's face in here too. We gotta open this up. Let's see what we got here. Another little bag here as well. We're building these four characters that I have no idea who they are. And the owl, what's the owl's name? I feel like I know that. Um, the owl's name is like Hedgewick, Hodge, Hodgewick. What's the owl's name in Harry Potter? I don't know. I thought you knew everything. Start with an H. Hedgewick, Hodgerd, Haggle, <laughs> Hickey. They all sound like they would work. <laughs> What's his name though? I don't know. Keep this somewhat separate and we will go into number two here. There is everything that came out of bag two, if you're curious. And I think that pretty much takes us to the point where we are ready to live stream today's build. I don't know if we're gonna get the whole thing done or not, but you'll see whatever we do in this little time lapse right now. The stream is done, had an awesome time hanging out with you guys, and also with Mrs. Brick Tech, it was so fun just to get her back down here building. In fact, Clark Man joined us, Roxy Bear was here, it was the whole Brick Tech family was a part of it, and I'm glad that you guys were too. But if you weren't, here is what Mrs. Brick Tech built. She got the first part of the Great Hall done. This is bags two and three. So you can see it kind of coming together. I love these windows that are on the side of this. Does that not look fantastic? And then on the side note, this is what I built. I was mostly in the chat. And that's me trying to justify that I didn't really get anything done. Got this little wall thing built. We've got some mini fingers. This is Hermione. This is Draco, Harry Potter. This is Dumbledore, I believe. I'm learning all this on the fly. This is Hedwig. We got a name and then this hat. I can't remember the name of the hat, but we also have this bird, which is, is it a fox? Something like that, fox the phoenix. And then this is Slytherin. That was my little inside joke for everybody that was in the stream when we were talking about this guy. And I wanna show you what we have left to build here. We've got bags four, we've got five, and we've got six. 
So about halfway through, and this video where my time traveling now takes place once again, I'm gonna pick this up when I start building this and hopefully finish it up in the next clip that you see here. <laughs> My train table completely finished. My train table. The train table complete. My train. My. Oh. Derail it. Are you going to be a useful engine today? Ah! Oh. Welcome back, Harry Potter Detectors. Today we're going to be finishing up the Hogwarts Great Hall, which you guys already know because you just watched that last clip. Here's what we got so far after Clark Man played with it, switching some people around and whatnot. I think uh, Harry Potter actually became a very old man here. I don't know what happened. So what's up with this guy, Clark Man? He he turned to us turned to an old man. Did he have like a spell cast upon him, or yeah. what happened here exactly? I turned this. I turned. That guy burned and turned him to a witch. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah, he definitely looks like a witch. Who's that, Hero? Yeah, Hero the helicopter is here, the land. Are we just gonna change this from a Harry Potter video to a Thomas video? Yeah, we can turn this to a Thomas video. Here's the beauty about this channel, Clark, man. We can literally do whatever we want, and I think that's a really awesome thing, and that's why I love YouTube. And that's why I love finishing this set, which we're gonna do right now. Bag four. Oh. What's, what's in here? What is this? A witch. Room. I didn't realize it, but that Hagrid guy is actually a bigger fig, big fig, big okay. bigger finger than what the other ones are. That's awesome. And this is beard. His beard is weird. Big guy. Clark found little pants, a big guy. We've got, these are extra pieces. I don't want to get those all confuzzled in here. This might even be extra piece. We've got many fingers in here. Um, it's, it's a big minifigure. It's a daddy, I guess. Yeah? Oops, skip. Oh, were you talking about my weight problem, buddy? You talking yeah. about my weight problem? This is really awesome, too. I've never seen a hairpiece that includes, like, an entire beard and everything like that. Ah! It's the only thing that could win Clark Man back from Thomas. We've got a giant Hagrid. Or Haggard. I don't know what his name is. Haggard, I think. Look at myself. <laughs> I, I look at myself. Oh, oh, I'm call. trying to get a shot of him here. It's not uh, easy when you're moving around that much. Bitch. I don't know if he has the right face or not, but you know, close enough. The witch's name is Professor McGonagall. Then this person here is uh, this girl, which is Susan Bones. What's it? What's that face? What's his name? His name is Hagrid. Why is he Hagrid? Because he's Hagrid. We got Hagrid all switched around looking much better. Uh, look at himself. Friendly witch? Yeah. Dude. It's a door on top. Oh yeah, Clark Man made a mod to this. We've got this thing up here, which I think looks spectacular. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. I'm the friendly witch. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to build this, as I've said many times before. I think I'll do like an update after I complete each bag, just to keep this video from being like 45 minutes long. Hey Clark, I just finished bag four. Was it, it's finished? Build up a little more on the sides. I love this side here, which you can't see because of the lighting. Let me go around the other side. These are some really solid Lego doors too, what's much in, better than the castle. What's in here? In what's in there? Oh, nothing new inside really, other than just this thing that I put in right here. The inside's been the same, but this whole little- Some many fingers are area. not in there. No many fingers. Yeah, we'd have to put some in. Did a little more work on this side here too. Built this up a little bit more. Tom's the tank engine lives in here. Oh, he does. Yeah, he he he's is his castle. I'm gonna turn this. It's gonna be a Thomas castle. Harry Potter's gonna be very upset. It's my castle now. <laughs> it's ours. The ultimate collaboration. Some Eric Ghost Golden, the tank dungeon. Everybody's dun, going dun, inside dun, my dun, castle. Dun, oh jeez. Let's move on to bag five. I will show you the mini bigs, but they are just a complete disaster over here. Get out of there, Shrek! Get out! There's an owl in there! What's in there? Looks like some stairs. And a, it's a big girl. This is the part you've been waiting for, too. The mouse! The mouse! I Clark's favorite piece in the entire set. We've got the mouse. We've got some stairs. I think this is Ron here, maybe. Ron? Is it Ron Weasley? Is that his name? Because he's like a weasel. There's another guy in here, too. Looks like it's Professor Quirrell. Quirrell is in here. I don't know. Our 
face. Wow, that's cool. She's holding a, a jewel on here. She's holding a jewel. Wow. She's holding a jewel. Cool. All right, let's go to bag five. It is James. He is. That's oh, James. The take right. action. That is That's, James in his shiny it's, red paintwork. What do you think? It, it is James. I don't like being next James, to Steamy. James and Diesel and Thomas. He's Bill and Thomas. Who's Bill and Thomas? I'm Thomas and I don't care. Brooks are. Right, That's him. What's going to be? Uh, you might it, That's Toby, the tank engine. Numero seven. That's Toby. Thomas! Toby the Thomas the Tank Engine! So we need to add some more to of our collection today. I'm gonna watch that one. I'm, I'm gonna watch that. Tonight. Thanks for right. watching. See That's how they get us. What do you think about this guy's videos, Clark, man? Great and fun. <laughs> it's all finished! Almost. We're making some progress here. We've got a roof on this place. It's and got stairs! Yeah, and stairs over here. I don't know if these stairs are in the movie where they're like tricky stairs or what, but they kind of go in like this. At least hopefully they're supposed to go in like that. Thomas the Tank Engine, Road. You guys thought you were watching a Harry Potter video. Anyway, here is the inside of this. It's starting to look really cool. I love these flag things for hanging down here. I'm assuming they're for the different it's houses. Thomas the Tank Engine. And, uh, this I'm not it's sure. Thomas. Dude. I'm it's, trying to make a video over here. It's Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, these, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with these. At this point, there's only bag six left, and there is still one minifinger left to build, too. <gasps> Let me do my last unbagging. What in the heck? What is happening here? Go back to where you came from. Ah! Oh. oh, you are right? You the tank engine. Anyway, here's all of our pieces, oh, and... I think I'm gonna build this minifinger by myself. No, it's mine, mine. <laughs> I took your mine off, I got ha ha ha. We're in the final stretches here of the Great Hall. I'm just putting the last couple pieces up here on the roof. Clark has been going crazy with this set. This was such a great investment. He's been playing with the minifingers like this entire time. The time that he wasn't playing with Thomas Trains, he's been moving these guys around, he's been switching them up. They're all mixed up now, which is totally fine. Oh no, me. the poke. What happened? The poke. Oh, we. Hey, can I at least finish the set before it gets destroyed, bro? This is it, Clark, man. That one goes there. Do you want to put the last piece on? Mm. Okay, just click it on there. Is that it? Did we just finish the Great Hall? One last thing, we got to put the bird in there. Fo Fox, is that his name? Let me show this thing off. We do have a couple extra pieces left. Here's the mouse if you want to display him in there, Clark, man. This is the back of the castle, which I think is the best part to look at. Some of this may not be exactly perfect because it has been rampaged by the Clark, man, but starting at the top here, I love this section coming down through here. What is really going on in there? This mouse is in there. <laughs> Apparently there's a mouse in there. Down below here we've got a treasure chest with a spider. This is like the witch's room apparently where there's a cauldron of stuff bubbling up and who knows what else is in there. These are the Oh no. The main thing is back. Um that's not good, Clark man. I don't know what these are supposed to be, but they're kind of messed up a little bit. Uh, uh, this one this means messed up. I noticed it's messed up. Hey, quit destroying my set, bro. I will put this back on top. Thank you, sir. Okay, good as new. My, uh, I don't know what's happening in here, though. You destroyed my bird and the mouse is up there. Can we put the mouse maybe, like, down here? It's just moments after you finish a set that you have to start doing repairs when you have a guy like this around. But here's the inside of the Great Hall. And you saw most of this earlier. There are uh, casualties, unfortunately. We have this person and this person, and I'll show you all the minifigs from this in a second, but take a second to admire the inside of this place. I love the way it looks. I love the, the banners that are hanging down here, and they do kind of move somewhat. This is getting destroyed again, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Can you spin that around for me, Clark, so we can see the other side? This side here, I think looks great. I love those windows and the detail that's on there, and how it comes up it's here. It's my stairs. What do you think, dude? Great. Is this pretty cool? Yeah. I mean, go up the stairs. What's going on up there? While you're checking that out, I'm going to show your mini fingers <laughs> off here. Now, like I said, these are all just going to be as Clark made them or modified them. So these may not be movie accurate, but we do have everybody here. And I think we're kind of getting off frame. So might need to zoom out a little bit. 
But there is everybody from the movie, and I guess I should give you a little bit of a zoom in here. The doors are not opening. And a little bit of a crunch down. Oh no! Clark man! I spoiled it. What happened? Anyway, here is everybody. I'm not gonna embarrass myself by telling you their names because I'll get them all wrong. We're missing somebody, Clark. The boat. We're missing Harry. He went for a boat ride earlier. All right, Harry Potter finally back from his trip to the ocean. We got yeah. Harry, we've got everyone else here, and we've got Crazy Clark yeah. punching the camera. So I think that concludes our first Harry Potter set of all time. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you again to everyone that donated to make this possible. Had a lot of fun with this, but now I'm getting choked out. So see you guys in the next video. Clark man just went upstairs and I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to try to fix all the stuff that he broke on this so I could show you what this thing's supposed to look like as it's meant to be. And I think I have it that way now. I've got all of the roof things fixed, the spires or whatever they're called. And I fixed this railing. And I think everything is right now. I can't be certain though because I only built half of this set and Clark man was playing pretty hard with this as I was building the second half of it. But I think we're there and it's a good looking model. These guys I would try to get all fixed up and make them the way they're supposed to be, but I know as soon as he comes back down here, he's just gonna switch them all around again and... Oh no! I was just talking about you! Oh, oh. I got this all fixed up, you're not gonna mess it up, are you? No. Are we actually done now, Clark Man? Yeah, I'm the one with the train video! With that Trains Our Guy? Yeah. Oh jeez.